So how to achieve the best possible downswing? I've got for you a little setup station here, I believe will allow you to get in the best possible body position to your downswing. What we've got, my tool bag here, alignment rod sticking out, a shaft here on the ground. If I step to a golf ball, you'll see their location. So the shaft of the ground is under a club head width, but it's pretty much near the outside of my flared lead foot. This rod here wants to be just about the same kind of position. If it's slightly wider, no problem, slightly narrower, no problem. The key is what we're looking for in this is basically in the downswing, I see so many golfers, torso goes forward and potentially head goes forward and you will start to hit this with your shoulder. We want to make sure the shoulder initially can go forward a tiny bit, but it's got to go in the right sequence. So the hips would go, then the shoulder would go. It's kind of hip, shoulder, then the shoulder works away from this rod is the key thing. Most people can certainly encourage themselves to feel that the shoulder doesn't go forward at all because they already do that too much. Again, the feel versus real. The science would say to us that at the top of the backswing, the hip goes in a bit of a lateral squat and the shoulder would move a little bit forward and the arms move forward. Quite often I talk about try and keep the shoulder back because the arms struggle to keep up with most people due to club face issues and plane issues and backswing issues, granted. But if we're going to try and train your body to be best it can be in the downswing, what I want to see basically is your lower half, your leg and hip get to this stick here whilst your shoulder doesn't get to that stick and then we can fall through short fall through otherwise we'll hit this stick with our arms but we want to feel like our body stays in that position so we really should want to make what i call half fall through swings kind of three o'clock swings whilst trying to feel we get a sequence of our body correct in the downswing before anyone comments there's rotation yes so as we go to miss this with our shoulder you'll see how i'm rotating with the legs the lateral squat goes across then i'm going to be rotating and trying to stick in on that stick okay i'm not saying it's easy but this is what we want. The idea would be initially, you'd make a few practice swings, top of the swing, make contact, stay away from that stick. That's the initial thing you wanna definitely feel. Then we wanna build that up to hitting small shots. We could actually put this further out the way so you wouldn't hit it with your arms, but is it up to you? So for me, it's about training something that makes us feel a bit fearful of hitting it, so it makes us move differently. Quite often I get guys in for lessons, they say to me, okay, I don't really like drills, but I want to be able to do this move. So we try and do the move without a drill, a constraint, and quite often they can't do it. So sometimes we need things that make you move differently, and this is one of those things that makes us move differently. And then we want to absorb those feelings and put that into the shot. So you might only case of two or three reps doing this, and then go into the golf ball and trying to put in the same moves that you've done with this. Let's give it a go, shall we? So I take my setup. So hit it great. My arm hit that. Don't believe my shoulder got near it. We'll have a check back on the video. But the ball and turf contact was great. I felt my leg get across to the stick, the shaft in this case, and it felt very dynamic. So really what we're looking to create here is a very dynamic body move on the way down. And if we move our body correctly, the arms tend to follow, okay? So we tend to get more of a good body swing. The arms take care of the plane and direction. Some people will have motor patterns and stuff that mean their arms are going a bit funky that they might need to work on their arm swing also. Do not worry. We can tackle that in second video or a second time. Work on what the body's doing, let the arms follow, see how it affects your golf, see how it affects your swing, see how it feels, and let me know. Really welcome any questions or comments or feedback. You know, I want you to be part of my community so I can help you improve your golf. That's really the, the junks of it, really, when I want you to put comments down. Anyway, thank you for checking out this video. Hope to see you back here real soon.